Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulf Stream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Friday afternoon. We have 10 races to look at. Let's go to uh, Pete Aiello with those track and weather conditions. 10 races on the program here this afternoon. Nice carryover in the Rainbow Six and a nice pool in the Stronic Five here today. A fast main track, a firm turf course, and the first of the day over the firm turf course. With maiden claimers going one mile, they're in for $20,000. Scratch the 10, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All the money on two. He's a kitten. And three, Rumson Rally. Racing at Gulfstream. From between horses, he's a kitten, one of the first to begin. Promontory is, Promontory is being sent along, and these two, two kick on ahead of Rough Note in third. Rumson Rally in the pink silks moves to be fourth, ahead of Count Archibald. Wide on the course, we're both uh, looking savvy and super warrior. Taking the worst of it was Amy Zardi as they charge around the first turn. Three back to home power, and the early trailer is Lucky Leo. Around the first turn they go, and with the advantage, it's Promontory in front now and over to the rail. On the outside, he's a kitten, moves to strike while second. Down at the inside, third is Rough Note, racing ahead of Count Archibald with Amy Zardy wide on the course. Rumson Rally, he's settled sixth, and he's about five lengths off the lead, racing ahead in front of Looking Savvy with Super Warrior toward the inside. Gap of three to Home Power and three more to Lucky Leo after the opening quarter went in 23 and three. Less than five furlongs to run on the race, and he's a kitten without being asked for an effort has gone up to put a neck on top. Promontory is there second behind a 48-second half mile. Ridden third at the rail is Rough Note outside and Amy Zardi trying to get underway, looking savvy. The other favorite, Rumson Rally, is being scrubbed on by Jimenez, not really offering much of a run. He's up on the outside of Amy Zardi, which not doing him any favors as He's a Kitten glides to a clear lead. It's He's a Kitten to the top of the stretch in front. Promontory is second, looking savvy third. Now now Rumson Rally begins to get a rally going, circling horses and on the outside. Three quarters, 111 and four. The two favorites will decide it. With the advantage, it's He's a Kitten by two and a half. Rumson Rally down the stand side, loose and charging back to third, Promontory. He's a Kitten is in front. On the outside and Rumson Rally is up into second, but time has run out. He's a Kitten holding firm. Here's the line. He's a Kitten won it. He's a Kitten from Rumson Rally. Second, closer for third, Promontory or outside and looking savvy in 136 flat. Favorites run 1-2 to start the program with number two, He's a Kitten, getting that elusive maiden diploma. Gets the job here today under jockey Luis Saez for trainer Phil Serpy and the Wellspring Stable. Three, Rumson Rally didn't look comfortable until late in the game, but he surged to get second ahead of the seven-looking savvy who ran third. We go to the second race and start the early pick four, six furlongs the journey. Claimers in for a price tag of 12500 Scratch number four, pretty overdriven. Favorites included three, Flashing Diamond and six. Seven, Fergie Licious. Picture perfect beginning. From the rail, nothing's free. Fires to the top from Aaliyah's story, who comes away racing in second, flashing diamond out of their third. Allowed to settle fourth is Fergalicious, ahead of long shots Tormented to Oro and Rethink Me. They go to the half-mile point, and with the advantage, nothing's free, and Jose Bautista by two. Flashing diamonds to the outside of Aaliyah's story, second and third. They've gone well clear of Fergalicious, who's back racing in fourth. She's tackled by Rethink Me, and the trailer is tormented to Oro. 22 and 2 for the opening quarter speed. Nothing's free. Tries to bottom out the group, but Flashing Diamond having none of that. And she's up on the outside of Aaliyah's story. Trying to close ground from the back is Fergalicious outside of both Rethink Me and Tormenta de Oro. Five sixteenths to go. It's still the Nothing's Free on top here. Quarter of a mile away. Nothing's free by three and a half. Aaliyah's story is second toward the outside. Fergalicious. That's all for Flashing Diamond. Tormenta de Oro up the inside lane. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go, and Jose Bautista trying to get one more furlong from Nothing's Free, and he's doing just that. Nothing's Free on the board here at 7-1. to one. She's kicked away to a sizable advantage. Give it to Nothing's Free. Good battle for second. Nothing's Free is in front. Very close for second. Maybe Aaliyah's story over Fergalicious, then Tormenta to Oro. 112 and 1. Number one, Nothing's Free shot right to the top, made a clear lead, and never looked back with a mild upset to start the early pick four under jockey Jose Bautista, Monica Magui, and 4RH Racing Stable. Two, Aaliyah's story with a big-time tussle to just get second ahead of the seven, Fergalicious, who ran third. We'll be right back. The best chance for success begins with a solid foundation. At Hardacre Farm, early personal one-on-one -on -one care starts the journey to becoming a champion. Bred to leading stallions, our mares represent the highest standards, Hardacre Farm's signature in the breeding industry. Based in Ocala, Florida, 
Breeder and owner Amy Tarrant has inspired excellence throughout her entire career. In your quest for success, start with Hardacre Farm, breeding the champions of tomorrow. Back now for the third race of the afternoon. One mile over the turf. Claimer is in for a price tag of $16,000. Scratch the three. Lucky Fast, a field of eight. The favorites included the eight, More Mo, and the nine, Coniston. And they're off. Vino away well, splitting horses. Gemologister up on the outside. That's Coniston showing speed. Sold that war is next, and Honey Don't protects inside position. Out wide on the course goes More Mo. He's three or four deep. The two at the back looking forever, and Slefty coming. Around the first turn they go. The speed of the speed is Gemologister, who leads by a length and a quarter. Honey Don't squeezed through at the inside to take third, is up to second, while a bit wide is the favorite Coniston. Back to fourth is Vino, then back fifth is Mormo. Sold out War is next, ahead of Looking Forever, and Lefty Coming is eighth and last behind an opening quarter of 23 and 2. Down the back stretch they go, and at 30 to 1, Gemologister has the lead. Poised to strike second is the favorite, Hakanison on the outside. Honey Dote at the inside third for Rodriguez. He's keen to go. He's pocketed up at this point, races two lengths off the lead, two in front of Vino. Then comes Mormo ahead of Sold Out War, and Lefty Coming, and Looking Forever is last. 47 seconds flat for the opening half mile. Inside half a mile from home, Gemologister still puts up the numbers and still leads by a length. Coniston on the outside is second. No place to go yet for Honey Don't. Vino is fourth. Mormo is fifth. Back to the inside and sold that war. Then looking forever and Lefty coming. And the rail just opened for Honey Don't. And Rodriguez will not squander that opportunity. He sends Honey Don't through inside to put a neck on top. Coniston is all in. Mormo from the outside after three quarters. 111 and one. They straighten for the drive. And suddenly, Honey Don't opens a four-length lead. Vino is charging with Mormo and Coniston, then looking forever. But a perfect turf trip here for Honey Don't. And Honey Don't is on his way to an easy win. Honey Don't, three to one, and in front. Mormo second, Coniston third, then Vino and looking forever. Number two, Honey Don't had a troubled trip on turf the last time we saw him on the turf. Had a bad run over the main track last time out. Gets back to his preferred footing and gets a good trip here today. It all amounted to a win under Angel Rodriguez for Tim Hills and owners T&J Farm and Charles Dimineo. Second eight, more Mo, Third nine, Coniston. Let's go now to the fourth race at six furlongs. Maiden claimers are in the $35,000 level. A field of six. The favorite was the one, Hasta la Bye Bye. They're off. From the center, Flash Gun is quick into stride and takes a clear advantage from Grand Union, who's up to second. Cagliari is third with Heated Element at the inside. And the four-year-olds are last and second last as Bo Splash ahead in front of Austin La Bye Bye. The three to two favorite is last of the six as they head to the half mile point. With the advantage, it's Flash Gun by a neck. On the outside, Grand Union keeps the pressure on second. Cagliari third, Heated Element fourth. Austin La Bye Bye now is fifth and the trailer is Bo Splash. 22 and three for the opening quarter speed. There's three furlongs left to go. Toward the inside, it's Flash Gun. Toward the outside, it's Grand Union. They're in lockstep. Cagliari and Gaffleone starts to tack onto these top two while moving three wide. Two back to Heated Element, who's on a move for Jose Ortiz. Fourth and in range. Then it's five to Austin, the bye-bye, and trailing is Bo Splash. There's a quarter of a mile left to get. 46 and three for the opening half mile. Toward the inside, Flash Gun has taken all the pressure, but turns first with the lead. Austin, the bye-bye on the scene and charging hard now up into second. Down the center and Bo Splash. Final eighth of a mile. It's Flash Gun in front. Austin the Bye Bye second. Bo Splash is third. Austin the Bye Bye surging at Flash Gun. Here's Austin the Bye Bye taking his shot. Photo finish. Wow, that's really close. Austin the Bye Bye lunged in the last jump to make it very tight with Flash Gun. Bo Splash is third in 113 and one. A key advantage in today's fourth race was age, as number one, Asta the Bye Bye, and number six, Bo Splash, both four year olds taking on the three year olds. Awful early in the year for that, and Asta the Bye Bye made it a winning run as he gets up in the final drive under jockey Roberto Alvarado Jr. for trainer Joe Orsino and Phaedra's Flights. On now to race number five of the afternoon, the start of the Rainbow Six, one mile over the turf, maiden claimers in for $20,000. Rainbow Six pool right up there today, more than $1.8 million. The favorite was the three, SPAC. 
Rosa Starr gets the first call with Just Call Saul moving to challenge from second. Mar Martino away in the top flight with Mesa Madeira. At the rail goes Golden Tap, racing ahead of Clock Strikes 12. Then it's Lady of Quality down inside for Chuck Lopez. The favorite smack is third last, second last General June. And Roses for Martinez last of all as they chase Rosa Starr. Rosa Starr and Alvarado Jr. bidding for his second winner of the day. He has her in hand and on the lead three parts of length. Second is a Just Call Saul. Third inside Golden Tap. Racing from fourth is My Francesca. She's on the back of the second horse. Following her is Mesa Madeira. Out wide is Spack. Spack is in the yellow colors and three deep on the course. Racing a length better than Clock Strikes 12. Then General June and Roses for Martina. 23 and 4 for the opening quarter speed, less than 5 furlongs to go. Rosa Star hells the lead, three parts of a length, just calls Saul second. Golden Tap is third, My Francesca is fourth. Mesa Madeira is an unhurried fifth. And Smack and General June, clock strikes 12, has appeared to have called it an afternoon as she's last, and now passing her roses for Martina. 49 and two for the opening half mile. Alvarado well rationed on the front with Rosa Starr who has the lead. Dangers include Mesa Madeira and My Francesca on the outside. The two favorites have yet to uncore rallies, General June and Smack, and they're at the top of the stretch. Rosa Starr turns first with the lead on the outside and Mesa Madeira from between horses. That's my Francesca. Golden Tap is next. Mesa Madeira putting her best foot forward to take the lead. Rosa Starr is back to second. The battle's for third. It's Mesa Madeira for Chuck Simon in front three parts of a leg. Second, Rosa Starr closer for third. General June probably got up. Number three, Spack fails to fire her best shot, but the victory goes to Chuck Simon with number eight, Mesa Madeira. Under jockey Tyler Gaffleone, the daughter of Sky Mesa gets the maiden score for owner Gerald Bruno Jr. Second, number four, Rosa Star, ahead of number 10, General June, who put her best foot forward to get third. Time for a commercial timeout. The late pick five comes your way right after this. And go Zipper is pulling away. Back now for race number six on the program. Start of the late pick five, one mile over the main track. Starter allowance optional claiming horses. These were three-year-olds. Scratch the seven, so nifty. Favorites were one, bronzed, and six, math wizard. And they're off. Math Wizard away well from the outside gate. Bronzed away well from the inside gate. And the two favorites begin smoothly with Summer Duck moving up between horses. Out wide is Grand Paraiso with Rayo My King. And Joe DiBaggio lets it unfold ahead of him as Bronzed has the lead. Bronzed is in front. Meanwhile, Math Wizard drops to the back of the field after breaking with the leaders, and Rayo My King is second. Summer Duck is third. Grand Paraiso is fourth. Joe DiBaggio at the inside, and Math Wizard is last. 23 and 3 for the opening quarter speed. Five furlongs left to go. Bronzed and Luis Saez with the advantage a length and a half. Summer Duck second, Rayo My King third, Joe DiBaggio at the inside fourth. Following fifth while a bit wide is Grand Paraiso and still out in the center and still four lengths last is Math Wizard. Inside half a mile from home, the opening half mile was swift, 46 and one as they round the far turn. Bronze putting up some pretty stiff numbers and he leads the way. Toward the rail, Joe DiBaggio far outside in Grand Paraiso, then Summer Duck. Math Wizard trying to tack onto the main group as Rayo My King calls it a day and Bronze continues up front. It's Bronze at the quarter mile pole on top by two. Summer Duck is second toward the outside. Grand Paraiso third. Math Wizard begins to put his best foot forward. He's fourth with an inside lane. Three quarters, 111 and two as they straighten for the drive. Bronze still has something in the tank here in response to urging and leads by three. Second is Math Wizard down the center in Grand Paraiso, then Summer Duck. Final 16th, Bronze has the lead. Math Wizard is second. Grand Paraiso is third. It's Bronze to do it all the way. Math Wizard from last to second, third Grand Paraiso, then Summer Duck. Favorites run 1-2 to start the late pick five as number one, Bronze, gets the lead and goes all the way under jockey Luis Saez, for trainer Jason Service, and owners Michael Dubb in the Bethlehem stable. Six, Math Wizard, was last early, made ground to get second ahead of the five, Grand Paraiso, who ran third. 
go to the seventh race and start the late pick four, one mile on turf. Maiden Claimer is in for $20,000. A field of 10, this was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Sing Song Bird was away swiftly up on the outside, bounding on by is moving to challenge, and Mia's Bobtail has speed from the rail, these three across the course. Up on the outside goes Let's Not Get Too Excited, who's trying to work over. In between horses, Princess Gabby with Folly three wide. Monaco Princess is at the rail. It's a gap of two to Geo's Cookie Star ahead of Not Interested, and the early trailer is Kind Hearted Coda. Around the first turn, and Tyler Gaffleone puts Mia's Bobtail on the lead. Leads a length and a half, Sing Song Bird second. Bounding on by third, four wide. Let's not get too excited. Parked very wide in the early, early stages. She'll have to march forward. Then back to the inside and Princess Gabby. Alongside Monaco Princess, ahead of Folly, who's three wide. Gap of another three to Geo's Cookie Star and not interested. And Kind-Hearted Coda is last of all as they completed the quarter in 23 and 2. They're half a mile from home. Mia's Bobtail's taking all the pressure up front. Three wide and let's not get too excited. From between horses, Sing Song Bird. Monaco uh, Princess has an inside lane. She's had a good trip here. Up on the outside, moves Folly three wide. Bounding on by on a rebid, then Princess Gabby. The favorite not interested, trying to get interested. She's in the blue and about six lengths off the pace setter. Kind-hearted Coda is at the back as they run for home. 47 and four for the opening half mile. Folly sweeping up to challenge Sing Song Bird for the lead. Princess Gabby into the clear and charging hard. Monaco Princess needs out from behind the top horses. Eighth of a mile to go. Folly now moves to a clear advantage. Princess Gabby takes her run on the outside now. Second, Sing Song Bird third. Sixteenth to go, and Folly is driven out. Folly and Luis Saez will win it. Princess Gabby second, Sing Song Bird third, then Monaco Princess ahead of Kind Hearted Coda and not interested at 136 and 3. Today was the day for the daughter of Super Saver as number six, Folly, gets the money, giving Luis Saez another riding victory here today. This one for owner and breeders, Linda and Leverett Miller, and winning trainer Christophe Clément. Five, Princess Gabby was second, three, Sing Song Bird, ran third. On now to the eighth race of the day, an allowance race for Florida bred fillies and mares sprinting on turf at five furlongs. Scratch the four, Richie's sister, six to the post. The favorite was the three, Salt Pond. And they're off. Good start for Salt Pond, a good start for All About Stella. And down at the rail goes Valuable Package to take third, ahead of Magic 2. Out wide on the course goes Perspective Diva to land into fourth, and the early trailer, Taylor's in orbit. They speed past the half-mile pole, and as expected, Salt Pond has made the lead and moves into the far turn on top by a neck. All About Stella draws up alongside second, back to third inside is Valuable Package. Then it's a gap of another two lengths to Magic 2 inside of Perspective Diva, and Taylor's in orbit starts to get underway at the back of the field as they run to the top of the stretch. Salt Pond has the lead, but All About Stella's pressing the issue on the outside second. Into the clear, Valuable Package swings wide for the drive with Taylor's in orbit following her. Many chances here with an eight of a mile to go. Salt Pond is on the ropes. Ticking over the lead now is all about Stella, but Valuable Package is charging hard, and Magic 2 down the center. Many chances, 16th to go. Here's Valuable Package surging. Valuable Package and Paco to do it. All about Stella second, Magic 2 third in 56 flat. Number three, Salt Pond got the lead, but was dueled into submission. As the win victory goes to number one, Valuable Package. Off cover into the clear and into the winner's circle under Paco Lopez, the trainer Skip Einhorn, and owner Skip Einhorn and Hoover Thoroughbred Racing. Time for a commercial break. We'll be back with the Leak Daily Double right after this. Whether you're at home or at the track, have a stake in the race when you bet with ExpressBet. Sign up for an ExpressBet online betting account and receive up to a $500 sign-up bonus.
Back now for race number nine on the program. Start of the late daily double. Five furlongs on turf. Claimers in for a $16,000 price tag. Scratch to six and the 11. Angel Rodriguez on number three. Hero Calado. Favorite was the nine. The veteran dance proudly. And they're off. Day of Reckoning was slow to go. Tenacity Zip was quick to go and fires to the top. City Rock has speed toward the rail. In between horses, Hierro Colado is out of their third. Back to fourth in Sleeping Giant. Then comes the favorite Dance Proudly working over from his high draw. Racing a length better than the team of GQ cover up with Modern Tail on the outside. In between horses, it's hardened and Day of Reckoning is last. Around the far turn they go. Tenacity Zip in the two path. City Rock along the rail. Here's the move from Dance Proudly having to cover ground but gaining ground with Sleeping Giant let go by Bravo between horses. Back to fifth and GQ cover up, running home ahead of Modern Tail, who's on the outside. Many chances here. They turn for home. On the outside, Dance proudly from between them. Tenacity zip toward the rail and City Rock. Sleeping Giant still boxing on. Down the center and Modern Tail lifting late. Still many chances. They slug it out with Tenacity zip ahead on top. Tenacity zip, tenacious and in front. That's got very close at the end, but I'm sticking to my guns and tenacity zip in a photo with GQ cover up charging hard in 56 and one. A wall of very game and quick racehorses hit the wire in today's ninth race. In the end, it was four tenacity zip, who was tenacious indeed, and gets the five to one win under Luis Saez for Yvonne Belsor and Bruno Schickendaz. This is the fourth win of the day for jockey Luis Saez. Second seven GQ cover up and third was the five sleeping giant. We go now to the 10th and final race. Maiden claimers try the main track at six furlongs. In for 12,500. Field of 14 signed on. Favorites were two, Rocky Strange, and five, Starship Taxi. And runners away. Far outside, Dr. Dudley was spring-heeled off the mark from between horses. Starship Taxi moving to challenge. Accountant Q won't be far away, nor will Major Kelly, who will land fourth. Vaughn is down inside, followed by King Wade and Shanghai Levi. Then it's a gap of two to just for Chuckles. On his outside, races Molokai Knight with Rocky Strange and making a legacy between horses. Three back to Rulership, who's being outpaced. So is Wall of Stone. He's dropped better than 15 lengths off the lead. And Jem Wan is last of all as the 14 of them around the far turn. With the advantage, Starship Taxi, but only narrowly. Dr. Dudley, three wide and on the attack, Accountant Q from between horses. These top three have gone four ahead of Shanghai Levi. Then down inside, races Major Kelly trying to launch a bit while five lengths off the lead. And Lugo has him running at an upset price after a 46 and four half mile. Dr. Dudley comes away with the lead. Major Kelly continues this big rally down the center from between horses and Accountant Q and a late run inside from King Wade. Final length of a mile. He Here's Major Kelly on the board at 12 to 1, kicking clear. Just for Chuckles, up into challenge for second, but the winner is uh, it's on front, uh, Major Kelly. I do think Just for Chuckles got second ahead of Accountant Q in 113 and 2. Upset win to close the afternoon. It's number eight, Major Kelly, in a pickup ride for jockey Carlos Lugo to get the victory here this afternoon for owner and breeder Rachel Morton and winning trainer Mike McDonald. Not many Iowa breads in South Florida, but that's what he was. Major Kelly, he was the winner of race number 10. At a huge price, number one, just for chuckles, got up for second, triggering an exacto worth more than $1,000. Rainbow Six will have a carryover, as will the high five when racing resumes tomorrow at 1245. And that wraps up Friday's card. What a day on Saturday. 13 races. Our first race post at 12.45. And we have a great stakes race. The grade two inside information. $200,000 guaranteed. Seven furlongs for four-year-old and up fillies. And man, it should be a great race. Good night and good luck.